Hey! What's crack a lacking, everyone? We're doing a Dime Ray Gizmo podcast once again. Once again. I'm in, the, I'm in the motel. If you watched the last podcast, you know that I am away working. Should I put some glasses on? And I was talking about anxiety. And it was bad. And it's, you know, I'm still dealing with it. But, uh... I don't know. You got there's ways there's ways to get around it, and I don't want to focus on that too much. Uh, shit. And uh, here's here's today's card. There's nothing on it. Isn't that cool? That's great. Like I said, uh, for the next little bit, the podcasts are gonna be uh, low quality. Um, well, not too low. But it's my, I'm recording with my laptop webcam and my laptop microphone. Look at that thumb. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing for work. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. It's just two months worth. And then I'm done. And then I'm doing something else. I'm not going to give it any details, so fuck you. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to talk about. I have I have nothing on my mind right now. Um, I figured I might as well do a podcast, because today, yet yeah, we started. I came here on Tuesday. Today is now Wednesday. No, yes. So yesterday was my first day here. Uh, and we didn't do any work yesterday or today. But probably going to start tomorrow. Anyway, this motel that I'm in, it is not the greatest. It's, uh, still, still from the 70s, it seems. Boop, boop, boop. Um, you're not going to be able to see it all. It's very hard to see what's going on here. But look at this bed. Oh my grossness, look at that old fashioned bed. Oh, and check this out. I gotta show you this shit. Ow, my toe! Ah! This is something. This is something. Look how old this shit is. This is an alarm cock. From 1976. It used to be white. Now it's yellow. It wasn't plugged in and the cord was just wrapped up like this. I came in here and I'm like, where is the alarm clock? Because usually hotels, motels have an alarm clock. And they do. It just ain't plugged in. Old school. I'm going to put it back and hit my toe again. I don't know what to do with the rest of the day. It's 12.20 in the p.m. Brick on the wall. Another brick in the wall. I'm balancing on the chair right now. This is what this is what my podcasts are. If you don't like it, then get the fuck going. <laughs> I'm just doing this. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. And it helps with my anxiety. I like I'm just like talking to the camera and I'm slowly getting accustomed to it. I mean I've been doing it since I was a young lad too. If you look back at my YouTube channel you'll see that I was once a young lad on YouTube. I think I started at twelve. Now I'm twenty two. Gonna be twenty three in November. And for this job, I don't have to shave. So I'm going to grow my beard up. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. Four, well, five minutes have passed. Five minutes 
in the ditch. Let's find something to talk about, because I've got nothing. I've got nothing in my bank. That too. Nirvana. Chris Novoselic has a new band. Oh, no way! I love Nirvana. PS4 update. Evidence is mountain for Crash Boom to Bandicoot. That's a fun game. That's a fun game. If you guys don't have it, go buy the new Crash Bandicoot. You will not be let down. You will not be let down. Hold on, I'm just sending a text. I'm just sending a text message. Just sending a text. Don't mind me. <sighs> Might go for maybe a 15 minute podcast this time. Uh, usually I, I have something to talk about. And this atmosphere that I'm in, it sucks. How can I have a podcast in a stinky room like this? It stinks. Smells like exactly what you would expect it to smell like. Look at this hair. I got a haircut. I got my hairs cut. All of them. Oh, who likes toothpaste? Raise your hand. Do you chew it or do you swallow? Do you use it to brush your teeth or do you eat it? That's what I want to know. Um, went to the grocery store and it was pretty expensive. So I didn't buy much. I was gonna, I was thinking there wasn't going to be a fridge in this room, but there is and there's microwave and TV and Wi-Fi. This place is old. It's very old. It's so old, they have VHS tapes in the front lobby that you can rent. But there's a, there's not even a VCR in here, so I don't know. There, there is DVDs to rent too, but who's going to do that? Everyone's got Netflix and iTunes. There's alternative ways to watch movies nowadays. You don't need to go rent movies. Who does that shit anymore? No one. Well, some people do. I do it sometimes. I, well, I, I've done it recently. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Holly Dibble. I sat next to her in 8th grade, 8th grade. The Golden Dragon Chinese Restaurant. Oh, I shouldn't give that stuff away. You don't know where I'm at. But you see, there's so many Chinese restaurants in the world that have the word dragon in the title. Good luck finding me. There's probably 700 Golden Dragon Chinese restaurants in the world. Oh, wow. What do we got here? Food. We deliver. Thank you. There's pennies in here. Have you ever seen a penny before? Canada stopped making pennies, but there's some in here. This one's from 2011. Yeah, if, you, if you're not familiar with Canada, we don't have pennies anymore. 2006. Man, I haven't seen a penny in forever. I should keep these. 1994! That was the year I was born. I'm keeping this one. This is a sign. This is a sign. This is, this is my... I was supposed to find these pennies. These two can go back. Maybe someone, someday, will find them and say, Hey, that's my birthday. I'm keeping this one. The 1994 one? That's mine, biatch. It's probably filthy. Filthy McNasty. It's been passed around from hand to hand, from generation to generation. 
Let's take a close look at this penny. Let's see if it'll focus. Probably not. No, come on, biatch. Is there a way to make this camera focus? Probably can't get that close. Let's flip her. This is what the backside looks like. This is the Queen Elizabeth. Which one? The second one. It's been the second one for years. When's she gonna pass on? Oh, I'm dark. I'm light. I'm black. I'm white. When is Queen Elizabeth gonna die? And when she does die, who's up next? And whoever's up next, why don't you just stop this tradition? We don't need royalty anymore. We really don't. There's a lot of things we don't need. There's a lot of things we do need, like uh, certain things. I I think I'm not like a I'm not a drug user. The only thing I do is marijuana, Mary Jane, okay, um, and some psychedelics. But uh, I think all drugs should be legal. Um, the crime rate rate would reduce to to nothing. You know, it would drop significantly. And if you don't believe me, do some research, okay? Don't just say that's a stupid idea. Who wants drugs all over the place? No, you don't understand. It's not if you legalize drugs, it's not gonna you know, everyone's it's not like everybody's just gonna start becoming drug addicts. You're still you can still choose not to do them. It should just be a choice anyway. There's so many laws and regulations and things you have to follow. But not all of them are necessary. The constitutions and, and whatever else we have to follow, they were created back in, you know, whenever fucking, whenever the country started. And we're still following the same rules. It's not the same time anymore. We should, we should every year, or, or like maybe every five years, or every ten years, go through it all. And just fucking update it all. And be like, if you don't, does this need to go? Or does something need to come in to be implemented? It would be fantastic. It would create jobs. And people would live a way better life. If we just took the time every, like I said, five or ten years. And look through all the constitutions and laws and regulations. And just fucking decide what needs to get shit canned and what needs to get updated. What needs to... Whatever, but I mean, it's not that easy. There's so many things to consider. It's hard uh, to go through it all. I understand. I know it's not that easy. Oh my god, I got the hiccups. It's not that easy to just sweep, you know, change stuff. You can't just sweep it under the rug. It takes time. Lots of time. I don't know. I'm not. I'm 22. I'm a 22 year old kid. I don't know anything. So don't listen to me. Or do. I don't care. I'm the future, bitch. Someday I'm going to be in my 40s. And my generation is going to be ruling. So what you going to do then, huh? West out for life, homie. Yeah, yeah. It's almost 15 minutes. A 15 minute shit podcast. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, y'all. Where we stress about nothing and we talk about shit. We talk about literal shit. You ever gone into a public bathroom and found a dookie on the floor? Yeah, that's fun. That gives you a good laugh, but it also grosses you out. You see poop on the floor? What do you do? 
Do you use the stall or do you use the one next to it? What if you gotta poop really bad and there's someone in the other stall and the only stall available is the one with poop on the floor? Do you use it or do you hold it? What if you gotta poop really bad and you got diarrhea? You're gonna have to sacrifice it. Just don't look at it or don't step in it. Maybe plug your nose. Poop is poop, and we all poop, but don't eat it, because it's not that good. It's not that good. Uh, ah, almost 16 minutes. Ah, you know what, I'm just going to end it here, I'm going to end it here. I know, I'll, I'll th I might try to think of something. I'll try to think of something to talk about. I'll try to write it down or whatever, I don't know if I'll come up with anything. Any hoozles. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Dynamite Gizmo podcast, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, it's just like...